Did you know that Jell-O can be a health food? Well, if you make it the mama natural way, it can be. And today, I'm gonna show you how. Do you know what makes Jell-O gel? It's actually gelatin, which is from the hides and bones of animals. But don't be afraid, it's actually really good for you. It gives you healthy hair, strong nails, beautiful skin. In fact, I think it's the reason why I had no stretch marks or no saggy skin after pregnancy. Unfortunately, most Jell-O that you find at the supermarket is loaded with junk, sugar, artificial dyes, and flavors. But as natural mamas, we can make it healthy from home. The most important ingredient in this recipe is gelatin. You wanna find a high quality one. Again, at the supermarket, most of those animals are sick and are fed hormones. So I buy mine online. My favorite brand is Bernard Jensen's. I also recommend Great Lake Gelatin. Okay, then you're gonna need two cups of juice. I just squeezed this orange juice. You also can find stuff at the grocery store, but be sure you get juice that's organic and not from concentrate. And then lastly, if you wanna add a, a sweetener, I recommend raw honey. It's not necessary though, because it's sweet enough as it is. The first thing you're gonna do is take a half a cup of your two cups of juice, and you're gonna put it into a saucepan. Then you're gonna set it on low heat until the juice gets warm. Add your two tablespoons of gelatin right before the juice is about to boil and start stirring it until the gelatin is totally dissolved so you don't see any little flakes here. Once your gelatin is totally dissolved, you wanna turn off the heat and let it sit for about a minute or two. Then you're gonna add your remaining cup and a half of juice to your saucepan. Then you just wanna mix this up, be sure it's well blended. Then you wanna take a quick taste and if it's not sweet enough, now's your time to add some sweetener. Now it's time to pour your creation into your jello mold. You can use anything you want. Today I'm using a glass bowl, but have fun with it. You can even pour it into ice cube trays. Now all you have to do is cover it. Plastic wrap works fine. And then you need to put it in the fridge for at least three hours. Okay, it's the next morning. I got my little helper here. Yay! And here's our jello. Now, as you can see, a gel really nice. But let's put it to the test. Good for digestion, promotes restful sleep. Jello can be a healthy snack for babies and mamas alike.